Hey everybody, so I got home today and uh, it's about 4.30 or so and I uh, mentioned to you there were a few little changes at home. <clears throat> so this is my game room. Here's the, what used to be our carpeted hallway down into my office. Somehow someone got a little carried away tearing up carpet because some puppy was negligently left downstairs by a certain son, one of those two knuckleheads down there. Anyway, that's what's going on there. What I do need to do is continue the trend of drinking Irish and Japanese whiskey, and then let's go and have a look at the packages that I received in the mail today. Well, not today, but sometime over the last couple of weeks, I uh, received some stuff. So let's go see what we got. What a mess. The reason why I was kind of upset that all this is taken apart is that I was hoping to do some funky, uh, funky flooring. And... Do something cool. Now we might be in a rush. Okay, let's see what we got here. You'll see a video available online a little bit later on tonight or tomorrow about Germany at War, where I talk about the gameplay. Let me just turn this around, guys, because I've got uh, my stand all back the front here. Okay, let's so move this. So I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time talking about this because you have already, you will be able to see full comment on the game, gameplay, and components, which are fantastic. This is a fantastic package of gaming. A lot of fun. Okay, uh, the guys from Lock and Load sent me a complimentary copy of their Battle Generator which is a very, very comprehensive. I had a look at a, a preview of this about, uh, I don't know, 60 days ago or something like that. It might've been a little bit less than that. But uh, if you just have a look at, turn this down a little bit so you can see better, focus. Helps you define the battle, the type of battle, nationalities involved, the roles, uh, your deployment, size of battle, all that sort of good fun stuff. Uh, troop setups, attacking the uh, defining the type of a co uh, combat that's going to happen. Um, special forces in terms of artillery and air and things like that. Uh, how media engagements are defined, reinforcements. Really some cool stuff in here and it's all based on points. There's a points system that's used here to try and drive uh, the gameplay and you're just rolling 2d6 to work out setup areas or 1d6 for battle size as the case may be. And so you go through all this stuff and look it's got some nice examples in here of the maps. It's pretty cool. And this is uh, I think mainly specifically for uh, Heroes of the Pacific. I am not sure if it's for all of the different systems. In fact, I don't believe it is. Yeah, here we go. Here's all the, the counters. Oh, cool. Now you'll even have the miscellaneous counters, including buckets and mines and things. This looks really cool. So once you're done playing all of the, I think is it 12 scenarios out of Heroes of the Pacific? On the big X map, hexes you can get serious and start creating your own scenarios now wouldn't it be cool to play a combat commander uh, scenario from their pacific campaigns on this use that as a, a template to build some use this to generate the terrain and things like that and then do a comparison side by side there's a there's a nice little project for somebody we'll get rid of that probably 2020 now, this is interesting. 
this was advertised. Someone uh, posted on Board Game Geek that this was up for grabs for twenty five bucks plus ten dollars shipping, or what ended up being ten ninety five shipping. And I thought, wow, I've been looking for the Legend Begins forever. It's from Terran Games. This is in shrink. You know, you can tell it's an older game, right? I guess that someone had bought. I forget the name of the company now that purchased all the stock. And I think they realized they had under underpriced them because within about 48 hours, this thing was up to $45 and the shipping went up significantly as well. So I scored lucky here. This is a Simonich game. Uh, he did the map, camera art, and game design. And uh, Joe Yaus did the cover art or helped with the cover art. And I've heard lots of good things about this game. Uh, so I'm particularly interested in giving this a run. It's old school 80s style. We'll see how it all runs. I think it's an 80s game. It looks like an 80s game. Anyway, I'm really stoked we've got that for $25. Win! All right, brace yourselves. <laughs> Richard Berg's Genesis. Now, I know you're in shock because it's a point, point to point map. Yep. But I tell you what, I actually owned the original uh, Pax Romana and just thought it looked like a horrid little mess and had a quick look at the rules, was not impressed. And then I read about this game, and it sounds like it's more streamlined and easier to play, and it's an interesting period of time that I don't really have a game at the operational slash strategic level to cover off on. So it fit all the bills. Plus, it was on sale for 50% off. So win, win. So I picked this up. We're going to hit it. Uh, going to get some guys together and play this either here locally in Austin or maybe... Uh, Maybe add a game on in February. That would be fun if I could play that. I'll uh, bring it out. We won't worry about a shrink grip because other people have already done that. Now, the last two items I purchased are purely for completionist uh, and resale, excuse me, resale uh, value. Uh, basically doing a minor piece of profiteering. Uh, I have a, un I have a, punched copy of Battle for Normandy. I have the extension and I have an unpunched copy, but I don't have the, an extension for it. So I decided to pick this up and add that to it and I'm gonna put it up for sale at some point in the future. And uh, we'll see if we can't uh, put a little money in the kitty to help buy new games. So if you're interested, and pick up a copy of Battle for Normandy, including the expansion, hit me up. I also grabbed a second copy of this and I intend to keep one in shrink. I do believe that there may end up being a second printing of this or what would end up being a third printing, but this is kind of a deluxe edition of the game. Uh, I think this is out of print or near to out of print and I thought it'd be worthwhile grabbing a copy, a second copy. I do hope that I become a massive fan of this game. Uh, but right now, it is bemusing me and I'm not able to uh, crack it. So we'll see. Because in the meantime, I still have my uh, Pacific War scenario set up to play with my friend Richard. And we just need to get to that. So. That's my little uh, pile of goodies that arrived while I was away. I'm very excited. And we'll look forward to playing Genesis in February. I may crack the shrink on this sucker ASAP just to have a look at on the inside and pro probably play at some point. I've kind of got a hankering for, for Africa titles at the moment. I need to maybe break out uh, Desert Fox as well and play that again. And I'm probably not going to touch this right now just because I do have the, uh, it's the all the standard scenarios to play. I've only played two of them uh, just to get a feel for the game and see how the scenario is stacked up. Uh, and and uh, so this is going to be a while before I get to this. And I think I might actually take the Combat Commander Pacific uh, campaign stuff and uh, and try and set up scenarios and, and do some equivalents 
comparative stuff. All right, later on. Talk to you soon, guys.